Nancy and I are behind the scenes at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. This cuttlefish is thrusting out its eight arms. Its fins are rippling around its body to keep it in one place, but they are also used to propel it through the water. Whoa! Cuttlefish can change patterns in an instant because of pigment sacs in their skin. In addition to providing perfect camouflage and attracting mates, these color and pattern changes signal nearby cuttlefish to stay away from the food. The cuttlefish grabs a shrimp with its two tentacles. It flashes patterns to warn competitors away. Notice how one side turns dark to threaten a rival approaching on that side. Cuttlefish are cephalopods, not fish. They are relatives of octopus and squid. With the largest brain-to-body ratio in the invertebrate world, cephalopods are perhaps the most intelligent invertebrates. You will soon see how cunning they are. They seem to be able to make quick decisions depending on the situation. Because of the placement of its eyes on the sides of its head, cuttlefish have a 180 degree range of vision for each eye. This one has seen a shrimp behind it, hence the color change. It thrusts out its arms and tentacles to catch and eat it. A cuttlefish sees a shrimp and goes after it, only to be outmaneuvered by another cuttlefish, which gets to it first. Watch again in slow motion how the second cuttlefish shoots out its tentacles to catch the shrimp and then uses its arms to help bring it to its mouth. Two cuttlefish race for a shrimp. The victor's skin shows it all. I got it. Keep away. A crab is dropped into the aquarium. The chase is on. The bigger, more aggressive cuttlefish grabs it with its tentacles and holds on to it with its arms. Stay away, shout the patterns on its body. A smaller cuttlefish comes up behind, pausing as if figuring out its plan of attack. It moves on top of cuttlefish number one, extends and spreads its arms, clutches its head. Number one vigorously backs away and escapes from number two's grip. Something's up. Ah, the reason. Here comes number three to enter the fray. Number three stays close to number one looking for an opening, but refrains from any action. That is, until number two returns. Tightly holding its catch, number one backs up, pushing number three and forcing him back. This seems to be its preferred course of action. Notice how well cuttlefish maneuver using their fins and forcing water out of their funnel. This is going nowhere. Number one is so busy defending its catch he can't eat it. Suddenly, number three extends its tentacles and turns dark on one side. This time, number two seems ready for a fight. The pigment around its eyes darkens. It positions its tentacles to look larger. But alas, it is a wuss. It is skirting around the edges. Perhaps it is frightened by number three's stretched out tentacles and dark side, which say, don't mess with me. Poor number three. It has to keep an eye on number two, getting closer, and number one, which is still holding the crab. Finally, number two finds a strategy that works. It starts bombarding number three so number one can get away, and the crab will be more accessible. It works! Number one gets away. In the ensuing fracas, number one drops the crab. Suddenly, everyone is gone, and the smallest cuttlefish grabs the crab. But not for long. The crab pinches the victor, and the crab is in play again. The winner is Cuttlefish number one, who displays a fear-inspiring coat of dominance and has figured the best course of action is to swim quickly away with its catch.